The first things to do whenever you come to any controller that needs Firebase or needs any external dependencies is to import the dependencies. So in this, I'm going to import Firebase and the user service file that it needs. So this is Firebase imported. Then we're going to import the user service file from the provider. So um, we're going to call this user service. All right, uh, let me just confirm that this is the name it's using. So under the user service, the class name is user service provider. So I'll copy it and then we go to sign up and import it as user service provider. Then make sure that since it's a provider, you have to add it under providers. You must always do this for all providers. And then you have to add it here so that you can use it. Call it public same thing but then i want it to start with small letter and then oh, uh, of the type user service provider okay so now we've done this we have to declare all our variables that we are, are using in the form so let me just close this quickly so in the sign up form if you look into the form you see that we are using a two-way data binding here and uh, all these variables all these variables we need to declare them in order to use them we need to declare all these variables in our controller so when we come back to our controller here i'm just going to paste the variables as i've declared them so here i can just click paste and as you can see there's pasted there's the pasted skills email and uh, they are all of the type any of course if you want to be more strict you can uh just tell it that email is string phone number is string and uh, some of them are boolean you understand like this is job seeker this is boolean so if you know the exact um, type it is then you can declare it otherwise um, just give it any any means it can take any um, variable type all right so the next thing we're going to do is to actually create the sign up form because if you look at the form here if you look at the form here and look at the bottom uh, button at the bottom when someone clicks sign up what does it do it, it's making reference to a function that says do sign up so if we go to our controller we can uh, actually create that function make sure that you're creating this function outside of your constructor the mistake many people make is to try and create this function inside here no this is not where we we want it we want it just like any other function outside the constructor and of course before the closing tag remember you can get this the code the source code to this uh, repo from my github account go to github.com slash dave then you look for this app ionic upload all right so i'm going to paste the the code to the sign up here and i'll explain it to you so i'm going to warn you a little that the code i'm going to paste here might seem a little confusing at first but if you pay attention to my explanation you will get it all right so i'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to take my time to explain it. But before I explain it, I want to import my loading controller. As you can see, some things are underlined in red. I want to fix them first. So we need a loading controller. Remember what a loading controller is? In case uh, you've forgotten, it is what happens when we click, uh, for instance, a user. When we click this, this guy that loads is the loading controller, right? So we need to import it in order to use it. So to import it, we go to where we imported nav controller and we import loading controller. I also want to import a uh, toast controller. Remember what toast is? Toast controller is that error that throws up. For instance, this error is called the toast controller. All right. So here we have it in the toast controller. We've imported it. Then here we need to use it here. All right. We need to declare it here. So we say public. We just use toast CTRL, then we we'll call it toast controller. Then the same thing with loading controller, we say public load CTRL loading controller. That is sorted out now. I'm just gonna do something like this so that it will look neat so you can see everything in the same page. Now we've sorted this out. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to look into the function we created but before then uh, our declaration of user service provider we just need to use each here so loading controller 
loading controller so the error is gone so all this we need to replace and after logging in this redirects to home page just hold on a little while i fix this i will explain everything so we are trying to redirect the home page we need to import the home page so let us go to a page where we've imported something before uh just hold on a little we import home page all right great so uh, we come here and import home page so back to the function quick explanation what we first did is we declared an object a variable like this we said equal to one this variable to contain everything that is in the form remember this uh, angular does two-way data binding and ionic is using angular two-way data binding means that as the value of the first name in the form is changing the value is all also changing in this controller so if somebody starts typing in this form for instance if somebody start typing an email because we use ng model to bind it into where somebody's typing an email the value of the email here is also changing so what we're doing is collect the value of everything in the form and save it in this value by the left all right so after everything it's an object we're saving it inside this account variable all right so this and uh, this account what it does is um, we can once we save everything, as the users are entering the details in their form, everything is saving here. Then uh, once they click submit or sign up, this form will be triggered. Everything saves here. And um, this loader starts loading. It will load for at least three seconds. It's saying, please wait. While it uh, consults the user service provider. And then inside the user service provider, it's uh, trying to um, contact or consult or call up or invoke this function so but this function doesn't seem to exist that's why it's underlining it because we named it something else so if we come to sign up we call it sign up service so if we copy it so we're saying go to the user service provider and um, look up the sign up service it's expecting a payload in the form of this account object so if we look at this we see that we're expecting an account object so once we pass it in it does the whole sign up with the email signs in the user and save the details of the user in the database and then because it's a return it can tell us when it's successful or failed so if it's successful we we, we dismiss the loader all right so which means uh, we can we can just we can even remove this duration so that the loader keeps loading forever until the sign up is complete if the sign up is complete it dismisses it and uh, once it dismisses it, it changes our home page. This will redirect and also change the home page, all right? So the default page will no longer be the sign in or sign up page. It will now be the home page, all right? So, but if there was an error that we got from this sign up service, we'll have to uh, work on this error. So everything here is inside this error. What we're going to do is, if there's an error, first of all, we dismiss the loading controller that is loading. We dismiss it and then we display the error as a toast that will show up from the top. It will show up and stay for three seconds, and then the message on the toast will be the error we got from the sign up service. Then we present the toast and then we empty the password field. Uh, we can remember that this page has not redirected. If there's an error, this page does not redirect, but we need to empty at least the password field so that the person ha can will have to um, fill the password again. All right. Uh, it's just a, a star if you want it you don't have to do that all right so this is basically the sign up um, method so you understand how it works now first of all the user fills the form this sign up function collects the form saves everything inside an object then passes that object into the user service the user service does the sign up and the sign in and then gives us uh, a result or uh, if it's successful we'll dismiss the loader and then redirect if not uh, we will uh, do a display the error all right and still stay on the same page now the difference between nav controller dot set root and nav controller dot push push redirects straight up set root 
says whatever is your home page it changes what your home page should be all right so when the user is signed up and signing we want the home page to continue to be home page but if they are not signed up and signing we want the home page to be the sign in page all right hope you understand it now and if you want to copy this code directly check out my github all right and if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point what are you doing so go to youtube and uh, c slash printm org that is my channel on youtube we, you will gain access to over 500 video tutorials on programming all right that i've made so and the ones that i'll be making in the future so thank you very much see you in the next video and um, in the next video we'll quickly test this then we we'll move on to other things